great way to pay it forward, <laughs> too. Well, an online education resource called the African American Registry is trying to get into more Minnesota classrooms. The resource offers thousands of articles and videos to teachers and the community with the goal of bringing a full picture of African American history into schools. And in tonight's Voices for Change, Don Stevens sat down and talked with the founder about why he thinks these teachings are so important to our state. The founder, Ben Mackay, came up with the idea for the African American Registry two decades ago. The goal is for teachers to adopt these diverse learnings and bring the full picture of African American history into schools year round. The website shares more than 5,000 articles and 2,000 videos about people, locations, and episodes that make up the contributions of African Americans. Teachers can subscribe and have access to lesson plans for all grade levels and various subjects. While the founder is proud to provide culturally relevant education materials, he's also proud that other races and cultures are highlighted because of a concept he calls intersectionality. If you're on a slave ship going to Brazil or Central America or Mexico or the Caribbean or Florida or Jamestown, you're going to interact with other cultures and nationalities in 500 years. So added in those 5,000 or so articles are articles on people, locations, and episodes that include white people, include brown people, include yellow people, include red people. So Mark Twain is in our database. Eleanor Roosevelt is in our database. Richard Aoki is in our database. John Horsch, the Lumbee and Seminole tribes are in our database. That intersectionality is there and that is the piece that is extremely helpful for teachers, particularly in the 21st century, to have material that matches up to the browning of the classrooms of this state. Mackay says in 2017, student teachers at Metro and St. Thomas analyzed the teacher's forum material and a large percentage reported they found value in it. Not only do all the lesson plans meet or exceed state standards, but Mackay says it will have a huge impact on society because this generation of students have come of age seeing a whole different world. These kids have grown up with environmental justice in their face. It is normal for them to see a black man running the country, a black woman running the country. It is normal for them to have LGBT people in their family, let alone their classroom. It is normal for them to see and hear and breathe the fact that the country that they live in is at war with somebody else. Uh, it is, all of those things are normal. And all of those things speak to a different viewpoint of what content should look like and what it should teach with. And, and they're the future. They're going to be here in 20, 30 years. I'm not. And so to put culturally relevant content and pedagogy with a literacy component built in in front of them to move them forward is probably the safest bet to put a dent in systemic racism that exists in Minnesota and America. The African American Registry is hoping a piece of legislation called the Readability Learning System will pass in this year's session. It's the registry's new culturally relevant literacy program. The registry stresses its goal is to make a better state and world for all people. If you'd like to learn more, check out aaregistry.org.